Hello everyone, my name is Hush and a very warm welcome to all of you in this brand new app development course in which we are creating a VPN application in Flutter and in this video we are going to discuss about free API that will give us the list of open VPNs. Okay, now why? The reason is we can't add VPN servers manually like this. हम चाहे कितने भी डाले ये रिलायबल वे नहीं है बिकॉज मे बी इनमें से कोई फ्यूचर में बंद हो जाए एंड वी आई विल बी नॉट एबल टू चेंज इट ओके एंड वी कांट एड सिंपली लाइक दिस ओके दैट्स अ बिट हार्ड वर्किंग वे सो वॉट वी आर गोना डू इज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दैट ए पी आई एज वेल एज वी विल ऑल्सो कॉल इट इन फ्लटर सो सिंपली ओपन दिस साइट वी पी एन गेट डॉट नेट ओके और सिंपली यू कैन ओपन योर ब्राउजर एंड सिंपली सर्च वी पी एन गेट एंड दिस फर्स्ट वन public free vpn clouds and you can simply click on it and you will see this site will open okay jahan se humne actually hamari o vpn files ko download kiya tha but we can't do it manually so here if you observe it carefully do you want to pass the below html table instead you can use csv list and make your own vpn client app so if you just click on this csv list na you will see hame actually ek api milti hai jo hame kuch data return karke de rahi hai for now ignore this data okay so you can click on this or if you want you can just go below and the same link is available here too so you can click on this one too okay now if we open this you will see yahan pe ek url hai so actually ye get request hai now how i know this is a get request the reason is actually ye simply browser mein call ho ja rahi hai hame kuch bhi parameters ise pass karke nahi dene pad rahe agar hum ise kuch parameters dete then it will be a post request but for now it is a get request and you will see it is saying that it is not secure the reason is actually it is an http api rather than https but that's all right it will work in our case so for now if you just want you can just copy this api and you can paste it anywhere so for example for testing purpose i am opening my postman and i am going to call this api into my postman and simply inside my postman i am just simply going to paste that api and simply hit send and let's check that works or not so it is taking some time and after approx 4 seconds it returns me this much of data okay that's a pretty huge data now we will try to understand this data in bit of time but for now let's try to call this api in our flutter code so how we can do that so we require this http package in flutter okay so you can simply search http flutter if you want you can use do2 but i prefer http package okay just a personal preference and simply just copy it out and move to our flutter project inside this pubset.yml uh, i'm just pasting it below here so for api call and inside this dependencies and simply press control save or you can click on this get packages and it will update the packages okay after that we need to call this api so how we are going to do it actually i simply create a separate folder inside this lib for apis so simply like this apis and inside this i generally prefer to create a separate class so new file and i name it as apis.dart okay and you can name anything you want but api is rather sensible name hai and simply yahan pe main class bana lunga apis name ki so main generally is notation mein likhta hu use usse zyada kuch nahi and is class ke andar ek static function hoga jise main kahin se bhi call kar paunga and ye function future type ka hoga which means ye future kuch value return karke dega for now it is returning nothing so i am writing void and iska naam main rakhta hu get vpn uh, servers okay nothing super amazing and it will be suggesting me कि अगर आपने यहाँ पे future add किया ना तो आपको यहाँ पे async add करना चाहिए okay ना async simply means ये code randomly या background task में भी run हो सकता है इसकी वजह से main UI freeze नहीं होनी चाहिए एंड जिससे ए पी आई कॉल्स फ्लटर काफ़ी ईजिली हैंडल करता है ओके सो आफ्टर डैट वॉट वी आर गोना डू इज इफ यू रीड द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ना you will see you can simply create a url like uri.https but in our case it is http url so we need to do a bit of changes and you can call it like this okay very simply so how we are going to do it is uh, i'm just going to simply write here final response okay so it will be our response of api call and simply await okay await means wait for this particular code to be executed okay don't freeze the ui till this code is executed 
and simply here I am gonna write get and you will see it is suggesting me to import HTTP so I am importing it and simply we need the URL here okay and actually we need to write something like this URI dot parse and after that we need to pass that URL so actually I have pasted it in my postman so I'm just going to copy it out and move to our codes and simply paste it here and with this we successfully called the get API or maybe your first API in our codes and with this we have successfully called the API in our codes yup that's it we don't even have to worry about background task and stuff flutter handles it automatically and you can see here a bit detailed documentation about how to use it but in our case this will do the work and then I'm just gonna use log here you will see there is something called as dot dot math but I want this one dot dot developer okay and simply import it this developer one and I'm just gonna print this URL result here so simply response dot and you will see something called as body so I'm just gonna print this body here and just to check कि हमें API से क्या response आता है now we need to call this function जहाँ पे भी हमें ये response चाहिए so actually what I want is जब मैं इस change location button पे click करूँ ना मैं एक नई screen में move करूँ and after that ये API का function call होना चाहिए okay so जिससे हमारी screen creation का भी काम हो जाएगा so what I'm gonna do here is simply a new file and I'm calling it location screen okay and simply location screen dot dot and simply import material library here and I am going to create this one also a stateful widget okay so simply stateful widget and simply location screen and for now I am UI to design this UI okay the main thing is I will pe init state ko override karuga and in this case I will call the function call karuga so like apis dot and simply let's import that one and get VPN servers and it will do our work. हमें इसके आगे await लिखने की जरूरत नहीं, okay? Or else this init will throw an error, okay? Now this will do the work. Now one more thing, let me design a just a app bar for this one. So just I am gonna copy this from here, this app bar codes. So मैं just इसे copy करने वाला हूँ and inside our location screen, okay? Simply here I am gonna use a scaffold widget and simply app bar and cupuccino home actually मुझे कोई home icon नहीं चाहिए so I am removing this leading and simply VPN locations and यहाँ पे actually कोई button नहीं होगे so I am just removing them too and let's remove this action too and that's it now let's run our application and check it out now our application is up and running but the problem is when we click on this button ना और this navigation seat nothing happens the reason is we haven't given the functionality to it so for now what I'm gonna do is simply move to our home screen and inside this change location our bottom sheet okay we have created it below now this change location one so what we want जैसे ये change location click हो ना we want to move to the next screen so simply change location के ऊपर control shift R container के ऊपर and मैं एक widget से इसे wrap कर दूँगा and जो होगी एक ink well widget ओके एंड मैं इस इंक वेल को एक और विजिट से रैप करूँगा जो कि सीमेंटिक विजिट जो सिंपली मैं एक गुड प्रैक्टिस के लिए यूज़ करता हूँ ये बताने के लिए कि ये बटन है सो जब आप एंड्रॉयड में एक्सेसिबिलिटी का यूज़ करते हो देन ये सीमेंटिक रोल प्ले करती है उससे ज़्यादा कुछ नहीं ओके ना इंक वेल के अंदर मैं ऑन टैप को ओवर राइड करूँगा सो जैसे ही क्लिक हो आई वॉन्ट टू मूव टू द नेक्स्ट स्क्रीन सो मैं यहाँ पर एरो ऑपरेटर करने वाला हूँ यूज़ एंड मैं यहाँ पे गेट का यूज़ करने वाला हूँ बिकॉज वी आर यूजिंग गेट इन दिस कोर्स सो गेट डॉट टू इफ़ यू वॉन्ट आप नेविगेटर स्टफ भी यूज़ कर सकते हो बट मैं गेट यूज़ कर रहा हूँ सो सिंपली लाइक दिस एरो ऑपरेटर एंड अगेन एंड सिंपली लोकेशन स्क्रीन एंड सिंपली प्रेस कंट्रोल प्लस डॉट टू इम्पोर्ट इट एंड इन विद इन अ सिंगल लाइन वी डिड दिस कोर्स सो सिंपली कंट्रोल सेव एंड नाउ इफ आई क्लिक ऑन इट यू विल सी आई मूव टू द लोकेशन स्क्रीन एंड इफ आई ओपन माई टर्मिनल बाई प्रेसिंग कंट्रोल प्लस टिल्ड you will see inside this debug console there will be logs okay which means we are able to get this data if I expand this one now you will see there are actually a lot of data okay around hundreds of servers data so you will see there is bit too much data 
and but we are able to call our API that's the main objective now let's try to understand this API a little bit and in the next video we will explore it in more details now inside this API the first line that starts is VPN servers and asterisk and actually if you observe this data na ye koi JSON data nahi hai okay uh, which means curly braces ke andar jo generally API se return karti hai ye CSV data hai matlab isme jo sara data hai wo comma se separated hai agar aap dhyan doge to and sabse pehle yahan pe just us line ka name hai okay so if you want मेरे ब्राउजर के अंदर ये ज़्यादा क्लियर दिखेगा सो ही सिंपली यू विल ऑब्जर्व यहाँ पे सबसे पहले एक जो पूरी लाइन है वो जस्ट इन कॉलम के नेम्स को डिनोट करती है सो so, ये होस्ट नेम है एंड इसका जो होस्ट नेम है ये ये वाला है स्टार्टिंग की जो वैल्यू है एंड उसके बाद यहाँ पे आईपी है सो आई पी जस्ट इस कॉमा के बाद यहाँ पर स्टार्ट होती है फिर उसके बाद यहाँ पर स्कोर है एंड यहाँ पर उसका स्कोर है and similarly here it is speed or ping time so you can see ping time country long so japan and country short so jp and the same thing repeats and for us the most important thing is uh, open vpn config data so that is the last parameter okay and that starts from i think somewhat here and that continues till uh, we don't know okay so actually it's bit hard to read it i think till here it is continuing and then a new data starts from here now uh, in the next video what will be our agenda is ye jo bhi data hai sabse pehle ise json mein convert kare because uske sath kaam karna hamare liye easier hai and then us json ko hum log hamare custom object mein create kare and fir uska use kare so ye sunne mein bahut lagta hai and i will suggest ki aap thoda sa google karo के सी एस वी डेटा को जेसन में फ्लटर में कैसे कन्वर्ट करते हैं एंड ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट अ वे एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल डू इट सो दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वीडियो सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन बाय बाय